hello guys in this video we'll solve one problem based on goals dot in method okay so in first part we have solved one problem okay earlier so in that video i have discussed about all the things related to gauss jordan as well as gauss elimination method what is the difference the main difference basically comes in terms of what uh, they are reducing the matrix into uh, in gauss elimination we had to reduce it into what upper triangular matrix right but in this we have to uh, reduce it into what diagonal matrix so this is gauss elimination i'll just show you so we had to uh, reduce the matrix into upper triangle where the this element should be the diagonal elements below that should be what zero okay but in diagonal what is diagonal matrix it is nothing but where the main diagonal elements will be some it can be either zero or some value constant value okay that main diagonal elements other elements always should be what zero this you remember other elements you can see it should be zero okay so at last you will get one directly you will get the values of x y and z let me just show you so first method is that you have to go for the augmented matrix so i will directly write the augmented matrix so that is equal to so just writing uh, row wise you can write column wise also the coefficients you have to write 2 1 1 then 10 next one 3 2 3 then 18 next one 1 4 9 then 16 so i have written all the uh, the augmented matrix now what you have to do now you have to do the row operations okay row transformations so such that this elements you have to make it as zero this one zero this 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 okay you have to leave the diagonal elements so i will start with three like this i'll go then i will take this path okay so 3 is the first element so i will apply what uh, row transformation for that so r2 is this is the second row r2 is 2 r2 2 times of r2 minus 3 r1 so this will become 6 minus 6 it is 0 okay so augmented matrix will become equal to the first row will remain as it is 2 1 1 then 10 you have to apply for this also this element also okay that also you have to remember while doing this row operation it is applicable for this elements also next your second row uh, will change third row will remain as it is 9 then 16 next so second row i will do the calculation also so 2 into r2 r2 value is what 3 minus 3 into r1 value is what uh, 2 so 6 minus 6 it is 0 okay so that's why we got this as 0 next 2 so 2 into r2 value is 2 minus 3 into r1 value is 1 so this is 4 minus 3 it is equal to 1 so this value we got it as what 1 next uh, this one 3 so 2 into r2 3 minus 3 into r1 value is 1 so it is equal to 6 minus 3 it is equal to 3 so this is 3 next uh, 18 so 2 into 18 minus 3 into r1 value is 10 so 2 into 18 is 36 minus 30 36 minus 30 is 6 so this will become 6 okay now next which element i have to make i have to make this as 0 so r3 i have to apply some operation so r3 is 2 times of r3 minus r1 right 2 minus 2 is 0 so that's why so augmented matrix will become okay so augmented matrix will become first row remains as it is 1 1 then 10 second row will remain as it is 3 then 6 third row third row i'll do the calculation also so two times of r3 so see here observe carefully two times of r3 value is 1 minus r1 is 2 so i said 2 minus 2 it is 0 0 next 4 so 2 into 4 right so 2 into 4 minus r1 minus 1 2 into 4 is 8 8 minus 1 is 7 7 next 2 into r3 is 9 minus r1 value is 1 so 2 into 9 is what uh, 18 minus 1 it is 70 so this is 70 last element 16 so 2 times of 16 minus r1 value is 10 
so 2 into 16 is 30, uh, 32 32 minus 10 is 22 so this is 22 okay next I will go for this right so this is my path I can just show you again so this is the path which we are going this one first this one then this one so this I have to make it as 0 7 right so again a row operation for the last row r3 so r3 is r3 minus 7 r2 okay now uh, so basically why am i going for this element this row why not 7 r1 i can go for 7 r1 also the thing is that if i go for 7 r1 this will change so i have to uh, make sure that this element should remain as it is whenever you apply whenever you have to change other elements the previous element should remain as it is okay so that's why on r2 i am applying you can try it with r1 also so so augmented matrix is equal to um this one remains as it is 2 1 1 10 second row also as it is 3 6 now the third row so third row i'll do the calculation also so see here 0 r3 is 0 0 minus 7 into r2 r2 is 0 so this is 0 so this remains as it is 7 7 minus 7 into r2 it is 1 7 minus 7 is 0 so this will become 0 now next year, 17 17 minus 7 into r2 r2 is 3 so 17 minus uh, 21 right it is minus 4 minus 4 next 22 minus 7 into r2 it is 6 so 22 minus 42 correct 22 minus 42 is minus 20 minus 20 okay now next step we have to make so this thing is completed now i have to make this i have to go like this so i have to make my 3 as 0 1 as 0 then this one as 0 so in order to make 3 as 0 what i can do for the simplification purpose anyways these two elements are anyways it is 0 so what i'll do i'll make this element as 0 that's because the, it, it will be easy for me to uh, do operation on this two okay that's why so this you make it as what one how to make this as one so r3 is r3 by minus four simple so why am i doing this anyways these two elements is zero right so it won't affect these two elements correct now when i make this as one it is easy for me to do operation on this two so this two i have to make it as zero right so that's why i'll make this as one simple so applying augmented matrix what i'll get so r3 i have to apply simple so 2 1 1 then 10 0 1 3 then 6 the last row will become simple 0 by anyways it won't affect this one so minus 4 by minus 4 it is 1 minus 20 by minus 4 it is 5 plus 5 okay now i have to make this as 0 this as 0 first so r2 correct r2 is r2 minus 3 r3 simple so augmented matrix will become 2 1 1 10 third row 0 0 1 5 second row will change so i'll just do the calculation also so r2 0 0 minus 3 into r3 it is 0 so this one becomes same 1 minus 3 into r3 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 so this also same next 3 3 minus 3 into r1 so this is r3 r3 so this is 0 3 minus 3 is 0 so this has become 0 next 6 6 minus 3 into r3 5 so 6 minus uh, this one is 15 right so 6 minus 15 i have to do which is equal to minus 9 minus 9 okay this one done now this thing i have to make it as uh what is it zero simple this minus this so first row minus third row i'll do so r1 is r1 minus r3 okay so augmented matrix 
first row will change so second row as it is um, 0 then 0 1 then minus 9 then this is 5 now the first row okay the first row uh, 2 minus 0 is 2 only 1 minus 0 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 10 minus 5 is 5 okay 10 minus 5 is 5 now next next uh, what i have to do i have to make this as 0 correct so for that i can directly subtract this and this you know r1 minus r2 so i'll do r1 minus r1 is r1 minus r2 okay so augmented matrix simple is equal to first row will change second row will remain as it is 2 1 0 then minus 9 0 0 1 then 5 first row will change so first row 2 minus 0 it is 2 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 0 0 then 5 minus of minus 9 it is how uh, much 14 right 5 plus 9 is 14 okay so this is the final you, you can observe just i'll mark it this one this diagonal you observe this is the main diagonal of the matrix okay if you consider this one the three cross three matrix if you see this is the diagonal matrix why because the all the other elements non-diagonal elements are what zero so that was our intention right next so we'll get one directly we'll get the value so what is this column represent it is x this one y this one z equal to what this constant term simple now i'll write the equation so 2 2x no other uh, variables so equal to what directly 14 so x value will get it as 7 next here second row y no other variable equal to minus 9 directly we got the value of y next z value directly will get z is equal to right 1z equal to 5 so this is the thing so we got all the values right x y and z 